Good morning, good afternoon and good evening big bikers, wherever you may be. I'm just going to have a little chat today about my riding gear. I've just uh, recently made a, a decision to change away from my touring jackets that I wear. I've got a number of touring jackets for various conditions and climates. I tend not to have one jacket for all occasion you know it gets quite warm where we are so i need a fully vented jacket i don't like liners inside jackets um, uh, i'd rather if it gets wet i'd rather put plastics over the top of that and that way you, your gear is dry at the end of the day so i've got a number of different jackets that i use as i said depending on the time of year but just over the last kind of 12 to 18 months there's been a number of things that have happened i've had a number of offs out. <laughs> Uh, I know, uh, you know, a whole heap of guys that have had a number of falls. Uh, last year, I remember, I hit that kangaroo. I was doing it about 110 kilometres an hour at kangaroo. I was very, very lucky not to come off. Uh, I've had a couple of guys, had some fairly major traumatic accidents. Just stay still, OK? Oh. Holy crap. Oh dear. Fairly major traumatic accidents where they've, um, you know, had major uh, breaks to, you know, large long bones in their body, you know, double femurs and all sorts of things. I've even had a mate die. Uh, and that's a, that's a video for another time where, you know, we were present when, uh, when he crashed and, and uh, died. It was just a terrible event. So it's made me review the gear that I've got and uh, how I ride to a certain extent. Just be a little bit more cautious, take a little bit more care and, and uh, a little less cavalier that I have been. So I've changed my riding gear to include the back brace, the, uh, the armadillo uh, back armour. And I've done that by incorporating that into a, the, the O'Neill motocross uh, body armor so that'll go over the top of a base layer so there'll be a base layer there'll be the armor there'll be a jersey of some sort so that when it gets in the warmer weathers I can take the base layer off and I can just wear the jersey over the top and then I'll put the fly racing patrol jacket over the top of all that and that's going to provide my weather protection now I'm just trialing all this gear at the moment I've, I've had a few rides with it on and so far I really really like it I just think uh, that fly racing jacket is a terrific alternative body armor for adventure riding is not uncomfortable at all I'm really surprised with how unobtrusive it is as I ride that would only make sense because they're really designed for motocross races. It's got better chest protection, obviously better back protection, but the shoulders and arms are pretty much the same as uh, the armour in the jacket. The reason I selected the patrol jacket is that it's got um, these zips all the way around. And let's get this down. So that zip there, that flap there folds up into a very neat little compartment up top, as a lot of bike jackets do, there's no big deal with that. So that's cool, that goes in like that, so that's, um, very, that's just vented through there, no problems. The sleeves come off, so they're all zipped on, but the big thing I love about this is the fact this whole back panel, uh, underneath my, I wear a, a, a Krieger uh, backpack so that all that comes off and that folds down into this pocket here and one of the things I like about it is this whole thing folds down into the jacket and becomes a waist bag it's very very common for uh, jackets uh, you know of this sort these shells to do that so that's a really really good jacket that one and it's um it's it's got reinforced elbows it's got that uh, high density nylon on it so Oh, it's a really, really good jacket. As you can see, it's quite dirty. I've been using it quite a bit, and uh, I really like it. It's uh, it's a, it's turned out to be quite good. The temperature changes we get, particularly the trip that I'm doing out west, the temperature changes that we get can go from negative temperatures in the morning 
uh, up to you know over 25 degrees at this time of year it'll be you know we'll start out at minus two or three in the morning and then the temperature will climb up to 20 25 degrees during the day so a lot of flexibility with that jacket that I don't have well not just the jacket but that setup there's a lot of flexibility there that I don't have with the other touring coats that I've had okay well that was just a short video to talk about the changes to my riding gear in preparation for the big trip out west later this year well it's actually only about three weeks away so this weekend we've got the Africa Twin Rally, which is the release, the Australian release of the Africa Twin Adventure Sport. So I'll do a video and update you after that. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Over and out.